All right, Shalom, praise be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rukhak, Dash. Double honor to the elder apostles, the elder bishops at Great Millstone, who are well, who taught us this truth. Um, shalom to Sincere Akim out there pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. And to the few believing sisters, Akwaf, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rukhak, Dash, Barakatham. And um, this is just a quick one, little update, man. You know, um, you know, it's kicking off what's well, been kicked off over here in England, man. You know, up and down the country, you know, uh, Northern Ireland, things of that nature. It's it's, it's this um, it's popping off, man. You know, because you had this um attack, whereby um, this uh person, you know, who was previously unidentified, so called. You know, we went up in there and started, you know, on alive and children and that, injuring people, okay, out there in Southport. Um, you know, and then uh, they accused it on this dude, this teenager accused of murders, named as Axel Rudakubana, you know, um, after exceptional decision. The, the boy, 17, accused of the Southport killings has been named after a judge ruled against concealing his identity. Earlier, two children who were injured in the attack were released from hospital. It comes after a second night of violence spurred by the misinformation online about the suspect. You know, um, and you got some key points. So Starmer, Keir Starmer is the new prime minister over here. You know, issues warnings to murdering mobs in police meetings. Um, and he's going to be on live from 4 o'clock, you know. Um, basically, now, this, they're going to show you a photo of this, this kid. Because, let me see something, if I go back. So you can see, right, right here in this picture, you got the police cars. All of that stuff, ambulance, behind police, all of that. Top left corner, this guy, man. Now, he looks, he looks like he's just heading into to secondary school, high school, man. He looks like he's 12, man. But apparently, this is the geezer that did it. Now, two days ago, they had, on Sky News, they kept playing that interview with the, the local hero who supposedly confronted the 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 murderer you know and how he felt scared for his life and that you know but he was brave and went up against this dude and that guy looks like a gym going lad from England yeah you know what I mean but the way he, he was going on in that interview you would never think that this is the guy he was going up against you know personally you know, this is bullshit, man. The whole thing's staged. It's all, it's all, it's all um, intertwined. You know, to get pretty much um, to get the people going. You know, to spark. This is just the sparking of that civil war, man. You know, and it's not like it's just concentrated violence in one area. Of 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 uh, the UK, this is happening all over, man. You know, Liverpool, London, okay. You know, people are now talking up against government things of that nature, man. You know, seventeen. They're trying to say that this guy's seventeen. <laughs> okay. This is what you got as a result. In Hartpool or Hartlepool, however you say that, eight people were arrested and multiple police officers were hospitalized after violence erupted in response to the attacks. Police were attacked with uh, missiles and glass bottles and a police car was set alight. Now you can see that, you know. So all of this is happening and I'm pretty much 
pretty much um, people are being riled up. You know, you had Tommy Robinson, he just fled the country. You know, but he's that spearhead geezer, man. You know, um, you got, you know, the good old boys over here, you know, rioting and stuff. Who the fuck is Allah? Who the, you know, blaming the Muslims and that, you know, mosque getting, you know, I saw a clip on, on a TikTok. Was it TikTok or something like that? And it was actually like, it was a, it was a recording, but it was a, rec- a screen recording of when someone was going live earlier on, and um, they were just punching up Asian dudes, you know, not letting them go past, you know. So things are happening, man. You know, and then you got the South End thing, you know, down here South End. You know, people. Going down to South End and rioting, you know. So pretty much the whole country is a uh, is um on uproar right now. You know, this this guy. I'm trying to say this is the dangerous guy that was doing all of that. Pretty much, it's just you know them race wars, man. It's brewing, man. You know, because people are now talking about oh, um, the like and the KKK movement. You know, um, why the the EDL saying anything about this? What, are they gonna ride out for this? You know, because what it is, right? This looks like a little um, black boy. Just put it like that. So what they're looking for, you know, he's an asylum seeker, they really don't like. So they're just putting these buzzwords out there to try and spark that, um, um, you know, because the tension is there to just spark it off and then it's going to be become a black versus white thing, you know. You know, get out of my country and all that stuff like that. You know, what, you want some? You know, next thing you know... It's all out, man. Okay. But we're happy to see this anyway. We're happy because it's biblical prophecy. You know? Um. <laughs> he just don't look 17 to me, man. This looks like he looks like he's, he's 11. You know? But whatever. Whatever, man. And then they have these actors that not actors, but these people that they're like agent plants that they'll start violence, you know, and then inspire everybody else to get involved. You know, a lot of violence that, you know, police cars on fire, you know, stoning places, all that, you know, gasoline bombs and all that stuff. A lot of it is planned agents, man, that kick it off and then they spark the people up. And then once everyone's, yeah, that's what we're doing, yeah. Everyone's on it now, burning up cars and that. The agents retract to let the people get on with it, man. You know, people talking up against government. You know, strong words for government. Get these people out. We won't support you unless you get these people out. You know, they're doing it in communities where there's a lot of uh, Asians, a lot of so-called blacks, things of that nature, man. Get out of here, you know. So, um... Yeah. So we've got a second Ezra, the 15th chapter, man. Um, is it that? No, it's probably, probably the ninth chapter. Trying to find where it's at. Well, this is a good verse anyway. Second verse was nine and six. 
the even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful word, works and endings in effects and signs you know so these things have been prophesied man you know from the very beginning you know so it's coming to pass man you know okay these things are coming to pass man There we go. Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So you got people, you know, sedition is that 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 uproar against government, man. You know? Treason and that, talking up against governmental systems, well, we're fucking tired of you, so do this, do that. You know, basically do what we want or we'll come up against you, man. You know, people, you know, taking trains down to other towns that they don't even fucking belong to, to riot and beat people up and things of that nature, man. You know, so it's popping off over here in the UK, man, for real. And, um, you know, yeah, good. You know, that's good, man. But there's prophecy, man. You know, of course, the main, you know, the main showdown, the main focal point is America but you know and even that it's all when you check it like throughout history it's always something will pop off in America then something pops off in England or something pops off in England then it pops off in America if it's simultaneously it's all going down man the Lord is visiting this place man the scripture says that then shall the highest begin to visit the world which he made you know so you know we've got to be um, on our P's and Q's as they say you know, be circumspect, man. You know, because we're living in some dangerous and evil times, man. You know, ships ha shit is happening out here. You know, but we just got to continue to pray for the protection of the Lord. But yeah, man, it's, it's all popping off in England right now, man. You know, and this this kid, they're trying to say it's him. Yeah, he's the one that did it. But, um, you know. It's all to spark the people up, man. Get a reaction. You know. So, Lord, we're going to do some more updates. You know, more articles. Like I said, you know, in 20, 24 minutes from now, they're going to have Keir Starmer going live, answering questions. You know. You know, we're going to continue to watch out and see what, see how this is going to unfold. You also had the, 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 the Paris Olympics opening, man. You know, I even got around to doing a show on that. But, um... It was demonic as hell, man. You know, people protesting against that, even the power outage. You know, so there's things to report on, man. You know, we're definitely living in the last days. It is that amount, man. Shalom.